All right, so I was out at the shop, and I wanted to test out a nicer deck, deck box. <clears throat> and I'm a big fan of the Game Genic stuff. <clears throat> and I saw that they had the Watchtower 100 Plus, that's the one with the little tray, in a custom color that's exclusive to game stores, which is why the box is shinier than normal. All right. <clears throat> Let's get into this guy. Set me up and want my watch begin. Ooh. Some Game of Thrones vibes there, if you know what I'm saying. Eep. Now, what that exclusive color is, your horn is on my watch. I like this shiny box. Not gonna lie. Oh, Jesus. Kind of want to keep this box. Like, I like this box. Shiny. Ah! No, I'm not giving up. Not giving up. Alright, and that exclusive color combination is, in fact, Sonic and Tails. It's not officially called Sonic and Tails, but, like, be real with me. This doesn't make you think of Sonic the Hedgehog. Mm, okay. So hold on. Thank you. Please accept your gratitude for purchasing our product. So here's the little... So it's supposed to be like the same material as the uh, the dungeon, but the dungeon feels softer on the inside. So I don't know if I just see this feels softer. Oh, that comes off too. All right. So the idea is you have like your. I guess this guy goes like this. <clears throat> Kinda looks like a pair of blue jeans. I'm not gonna lie. All right. So we need a victim. My favorite tester deck at the moment, because how thick it is. The, uh, secret layer. Angels. Alright. Oh, yeah. Ooh, there's, like, extra space there. Hold up. Which means you can, and then you do like this. Check it out. Okay, so that's... What I was wondering. Okay, so this deck box is not going to be able to do the thing that I wanted it to do. Yeah. So, people will be like, oh, these trays are good for, like, stuff. And, uh, what I was curious about was if I could fit my tokens in here. But, like, no one... Had the dimensions correct, but no one ever said that they used it for that. So, like, you know what I mean? Like, the card no fit. Now, if I don't have... <clears throat> Alright, so an unsleeved card clears it. But it won't fit in the tray... So you don't have that, that's the whole cool part, like, with the tray is, it's, so even if, like, the, let me check this out, so we do this, right, 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 exclusive. So the idea is, in the event that this pops off, you might have a chance to save your game and your shit, but, okay, so, I guess if you, all right, I'm not mad, I had a coupon, I only paid like seven bucks instead of a normal, like, you know, the normal 30 or whatever, 
But, um... Huh. Excuse me, kitty cat. All right, so like that's the idea. <clears throat> so I guess in theory, if I was, I guess I'll get some blue and orange dice out. Oh. Um, hmm. So there's enough space to put tokens up here. Maybe not a crazy lot. It's a deck that would have tokens in it still. Mm. Actually, let's get this guy. Yeah, it's too thick. Okay. So, I've got my uh, most dangerous gamer deck. Yeah, there'd be enough space for its tokens. You know what I mean? Like, if you have like a regular sized deck, easily fit tokens in there. This deck is not a good test case for that, though, because it has the uh, attraction deck, which I guess is a bummer that this tray isn't big enough for cards, because I would totally just stuff this attraction deck in there. Okay, so, okay, my thought wise is, I like this, I like this box, it's cool, like I'm not mad at I bought the box, cause it's, uh, they don't have the, just the 100 plus, was it the sidekick, squire, I forget what it's called, um, but it does, um, because I was looking for something fancy, so I've got the four Warhammer Collector's decks, uh, and I was looking for something cool for these bomb-ass decks, and I could fit their, um, actually, let's see, can I get... that. Alright, so I have the, I bought the collector's version, so I also have the regulars. So I've got foil and non-foil tokens. Alright, so the foil ones will fit. Oh, foil plus non-foil. Oof. Ugh. Ugh. Just barely. Packed in there tight. Uh, Alright, so I might get four of the whatchamacallit. So if I go this way. Maybe they weren't sleeved. Alright, so I guess because <clears throat> I do plan on buying the version without the tray. I was hoping with the watchtower, I could put all the tokens in this one. So one deck would have all the tokens. And then the other decks would... So actually, I should probably... If I was... Hmm. Actually, let's put these away. Hmm. There we go. There's a deck. Another thing too, if you go into a place and you're only like taking one deck with you, like if you're a one deck guy, perfect, because it keeps some of your dice. Um, <clears throat> like that's two d, you know. 
two sets of like D and D's kit. All right, and now for the last test. As you can see, I'm a kind of a game genic. Oh. Uh oh. What if we go? Oh, that's bowing it though. It is slightly too big to fit in the dungeon. Okay. So it won't. Huh. Interesting. Okay. That's. Huh. Because this will fit in here. Just like a regular box will. But it's almost like too thick. See how it's bowing that? Interesting. Okay. So I guess it's technically not compatible with the odd. Uh, Dungeon, one, you know, 111D plus or whatever the hell this guy is technically called. That's something. Okay. Let's keep an eye out for that. This watchtower really is, like, I'll probably put a set of two dice, sets of dice in here. <clears throat> and have this just be like a, a road warrior setup. Um, too bad it's not big enough to hold my, uh, so totally interesting. And this is why we test out products live for you guys. I know it's a little unscripted, but... Uh, um, this is a product, I actually really like it. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, my only concern with these that I've seen, uh, not just these, but just all the Game Genic fancy, you know, satin line like this, where it's got the fancy texture, is it just gets worn off and beat up. Um... So, we'll see how durability goes over long term, I guess, but like, if you need, again, if you just, if you go, when you go to Friday night or to your buddy's place, you just take one deck, or like, you have a, I guess, two decks, like if you got this deck and then another one, um, it's a really easy way to like, keep your dice together. Or if you have a, I guess, a deck... Like, if you're like me and you just throw all your deck boxes in your backpack anyway. Um, hmm. It's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, if I'm ever like, yeah, I guess if I'm going to a buddy's place and I'm only taking one deck. I'm probably going to put dice in here. Custom. They got my orange and blue dies. Overall, uh, it's a little bit of a price to your product. Um, if you're like me and you got a million decks, I don't necessarily recommend it for all of them. But if you have a really nice deck that you like to take and it's just one deck, it is perfect for. Um, hmm. Other than that, it feels sturdy. We did the shake test and everything. Uh, yeah. I wonder if it's supposed to be like this because that's where the logo is. That'd be weird. I like the added security. And it has the little holy, so you can do the... Oh. Oh. I see now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, God, this looks like a pair of blue jeans. I, I know I've said it before, but, like, I just did... Huh. Yeah. The jokingly Sonic and Tails themed Game Genic Watchtower 100+. plus. Solid box. Um... I wonder if, see that makes me wonder if I should get like the, the 200 plus. Cause it'll have a little token tray. That'd be my only, maybe